Hello everyone, here I am with some unfortunate news. As many of you are aware by now, my family's new cat, who we named Lilu, has passed away. This was totally unexpected and out of nowhere, almost as sudden as us receiving her. Which, we only adopted her about two months ago, and in the singular video and community post I mentioned her, I barely touched on how we got her or anything. So that's what this video is for. Now that she's no longer with us, I feel this is the best time to go more into what she was like. So, here's the story. Back on the 10th of August, our good friend Alan stumbled upon this little cat when he was out for a walk. She had big marble eyes, jaguar patterning, no collar, and just kept following him around, showing no fear at all. It was so abnormal that he and his family took her in briefly, feeding her and his daughter checked the whole neighborhood for any potential owners, and eventually they came to the conclusion that nobody else owned her. During all of this, me and my mother were told about what was happening, curious as if we were to want this cat, and soon after, Alan and co. came by with her, seeing how well she fared in our home. Our other older cat, Gracie, who we've had for a long time, hid away whenever she saw her, but, this new cat was playful and sweet, always begging for love. We assumed that she was a bangle, and any expert we talked to agreed with that. And once we learned that she had no nearby owner, we started believing that she was illegally bred. Especially since bangles tend to be expensive kitties. My father decided to name her Lilu, after the perfect character from the film The Fifth Element. And the name just stuck. This new cat quickly got adjusted, but Gracie's fear of her became justified. Lilu would viciously attack the poor gray kitty with her claws every single time they'd come into contact. We knew we had to keep these cats separated. However, she also used her claws to scratch up against everything. And I do mean everything. Something had to be done, and like usual, my parents decided on declawing the cat. But before that would be done, she would run around and come up to you for loves, she'd play with the toys in the kitty toy basket, cuddle through blankets on the bed, and we could tell that she was bulking up from the thin state that Alan found her in. Long before declawing, my parents took her to a vet to be checked up, where they confirmed that she didn't have any rabies, parasites, or anything, but they discovered that she had a chip implanted around her shoulders, after some scanning and calls, they tracked down where the chip originated from, and they found out that it came from Russia. Yes, our kitty was a Russian kitty, my friends. But around this time, she started naturally going into heat, and apparently was losing blood without us even knowing. And then came last Saturday, when my parents dropped her off to a different vet. Following this, I just regularly went about my weekend, scoring more new for 2022 cars than I had all year, enjoying Cracker Barrel in Ohio, playing Fall Guys, all with the knowledge that my cat would be alright after the declawing procedure on Monday. And then, it happened. During the process, Lilu went into cardiac arrest twice, and we were alerted both times. We immediately skirted to this place, and once we arrived, we learned the terrible truth. Lilu had left us. She had lost an immense amount of blood, and they just couldn't save her. My parents weren't sobbing necessarily, but very much sad. As my father said, she was the most unique kitty we've ever owned, and thankfully we had a pleasant talk with the doctors after. I, however, wasn't nearly as distraught as my parents were. I was sad, of course, but I guess I was just desensitized to it because of Josie's passing early last year. And quite frankly, we didn't have much time to really bond with this poor cat. But still, as for now, we'll bury her body in the backyard, as we've done with every previous cat. And it's felt empty without her. But hey, at least Gracie can now roam freely without feeling nervous or stressed out. However, I don't want losing a cat each year to be an ongoing occurrence. Unsurprisingly, this has made me even more protective of the little gray baby. But to end on a lighter note, Lilu left a happy cat. She was given lots of love and was clearly in a better place here than wherever she was before. And once again, I want to say thank you for all your kind words and prayers. It always means a lot. You people are great friends and a great audience. 
This hasn't really disrupted my video schedule that much. Next video, I promise, will be something normal. But yeah, I guess that's just the unpredictable madness of 2022, right? Rest in peace, Lilu, Little Jungle Kitty. You will be missed, even though we barely knew ye. See you all in the next one. Goodbye.